So like I said, we've got Newton's first law down. It doesn't have any calculations. You just use it in practical applications. You can use it to verduidel it. How come, when you want to get a car, you can use the black verb after and let's find a fabric. So it's all in the car for the verb. Okay? Because the black verb has been changed. Over Newton's first law. What does it say? A lichaam will anno beweeg soos what it thans beweeg. So either in a state of rest or keep moving at a constant velocity. Yo. Unless an external force is being exerted on it. Okay. Good. Net gaf vanaf weer hier dier. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity of an object. Skryf jou daar neer. Dis verandering in snelheid. En dan skryf jou self in halfie spoed. So, the speed or the direction. Dit gaan nie net al oor dat iets vinniger of stariger beweeg nie. Dit gaan ook daar oor dat dit van richting verander. But, you guys are in grade 11. So, most of our changes will be in one dimension. Meaning that it will be a change in the speed of the object. Okay. As ons in van richting gaan verander, gaan dit a 180 grade draai wees. So dat dit nog steeds op die selle vlak blijf. So, jy het sê nou maar, in die richting beweeg, maar toe draai jy om en jy beweeg weer in die richting. Okay, but you do need to understand, it is important that a change in velocity can mean a change in direction. So, hy beweeg nog steeds constant in 5 meter per seconde, maar hy het van die richting verander. Okay, that you guys know, we did that last year. This we did yesterday. No, we didn't do that yesterday. I just quickly want to re, um, reiterate the net force. Onthou die netto kraag is die som van al die kraagte. So ons het nou net Newton's eerste wet gedoen. En ons het gesê, by Newton's eerste wet is F net gelijk aan 0. So you can look on page 75, right at the bottom of the page. If F net is equal to 0, it means that nothing will happen. Okay? As die kraag wat jou op voorwerp uitoefen, 0 is, beteken dit, hy gaan anna beweeg tegen die constante snelheid, of hy gaan bly in ris. But now this one, and guys, guys, they love asking Newton second law. En, wat nou gaan gebeur, het was eindelijk al laas jaar ook so, maar ons was die laas jaar so streng daarop nie, maar die rede ook om ons in graad 11 streng is daarop is, dit is wel jylle in metriek merk. Baie definities in a vraagstel is 0 of 2 punte. Meaning that it's gotta be perfect. Ok, goed, so. If a net force acts on an object, the object will accelerate in the direction of motion. Ok, dit is jou eerste stelling. In die stelling, daar is seker een goeie kies wat het makkelijker maak om het te leer. Ok, the first thing is the focus of Newton's second law is on acceleration. Ok, so jy soek jylde die woordkie versnelling nie. Ok. So there is a net force working in on the object, therefore it will accelerate. Waan toe gaan hy versnel? In the direction of the net force. Sorry, ek onderstreep nou baie lelik. Ok, those two things has to be there. So, there is a net force, meaning that it will accelerate. En dan moet jy sê, waarin gaan hy versnel? Hy gaan versnel in die richting van die kracht. Nou, neem dit gaan vinnig 3 sekundes om nou oor te denk. As ek hierdie botel stoot soen toe, nee, hier is die net toe kracht, is in die richting. Dan gaan hy obviously versnel in die richting wat ek omstoot. Do you guys agree? It's not going to move in that direction. Okay, and now they say, this acceleration is directly proportional to the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. So, sien jylle, elke een van die drie punte gaan oor die versnelling. Die eerste een is, hy versnel omdat daar net toe kracht is en dit beteken hy versnel in die richting van die net toe kracht. That's the first thing we're saying about the acceleration. There is a net force so there is acceleration and it will be in the direction of the net force. The second thing is, the acceleration is directly proportional to the force. Neem gau weer vinnig, pause gau gau. Hoe harder jy iets stoot, hoe meer gaan het versnel. Stem jylle saam? So as jy die kracht groter maak, dan gaan die versnelling ook groter wees. 
okay increase in force increase in acceleration therefore acceleration is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass this is the third one if you're applying the same amount of force on a very heavy object or on a very light object does it make sense that the lighter object will accelerate more then can gewigs do it nee as jy dieselfde hoeveelheid krag op 5 kg bal en op 8 kg bal uitoefen dieselfde hoeveelheid krag wat sien gaan die verste gaan die 5 kg een nee want hy het die hoogste versnelling gehad so hy vat die langste om weer te val wil ek amper sê right the lighter the object the further it will travel in that case okay so dis ek om ons sê versnelling is omgekeerd eenweerredig aan die massa you have to know this one and this is what we're going to work with f net is equal to m times a i spring now here on the screen around i hope i do not on the video okay okay so f net is equal to m times a and you guys are going to use that all the time good and i'll tell it work there for you what i've now before the slide near described Okay, nou staan ons gevinnig stil by Newton as een eenheid van kracht. 